Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day. In Romans 13, it says, in verse 8, it says, Owe no man anything but to love one another, for he that loves another hath fulfilled the Torah. For this you shall not break wedlock, you shall not kill, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not lust. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But love works no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is fulfilling of the Torah. So many people would just read, say, verse 8 or verse 10, without the verse 9. It says fulfilling the Torah. Everyone thinks that fulfilling the Torah is getting rid of the Torah. But fulfilling the Torah is bringing it back, is obeying the Torah so that we have not obeyed. And so if we will love our brother, we are obeying the Torah like we are supposed to. And he said, he quotes here, these are all commandments from the Torah. So the Torah was not abolished after Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ, as many people thought it was. So we should follow the Torah, and we should follow Yahuwah so that the Torah is fulfilled inside of us. And remember, fulfilling the Torah is not getting rid of the Torah. And the Torah is the first five books of the Bible. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. Those are the ones that Yahuwah had commanded us. Those are our guidebook to life. For we do not know what sin is except for the, for the Torah. The Torah tells us what is sinning. So, if we love our brother, we are obeying the Torah and we are doing what Yahuwah wants us to do. So, we should always love our brothers and we should always obey the Torah.